Get ready with me to go out in Mykonos. Apparently we're going to the best place in all of Mykonos tonight. Last night was insane. I think I peaked, we had so much fun. I was being crazy, I crossed off my thing on the bucket list. Basically, if you saw me last night, no you didn't. I think tonight's gonna be even worse though. Because our reservation for dinner is 5 p.m. and it's basically like a dinner that turns into like a club. So we are sorting very early. Last night they had a big Pikachu running around the club. Look at this thing. <laughs> We started off at dinner last night and this guy was like literally feeding us rounds of shots. I'm gonna try and do like the same eyeshadow thing I did last night. All these streets in Greece are like cobblestone and I'm wearing heels so I'm like obviously like limping. And the guy that we were with was like, do you need help walking? I'm like, no, does it look like I'm walking weird? He told me I was walking like a Teletubby. <laughs> he was this like Greek guy that we found and none of us could pronounce his name. I think the outfit I'm wearing tonight is gonna be really good. It's from the same place that I wore that like fishnet metal dress in Ibiza. I had a great time last night. <laughs> Made a friend in the bathroom. <laughs> Kate was like in love with this Italian woman in the bathroom. They were best friends. We were besties. And it baked Kate's nose. Kate's like, what is this tactic? Here we go. Nose jobs for everyone. <laughs> We had like a little party bus that was driving us around last night and I think he was like really fed up with us at the end of the night. It was like 3 in the morning and we were trying to leave but we like obviously didn't know where we were. We like can't communicate, we're not speaking the same language, we're all trying to find each other. I like felt so bad, I was like oh my god this is such a mess. And we also definitely stank up his car because we all got like euros on the way back. I don't know what was in these things, they were literally like fries with like cheese and like every- literally anything you could think of was just like in this one wrap. And I slept on the couch last night and we ate them in the kitchen here and it stunk. I have a weird thing for like sleeping on couches, like I love it, I feel like I get better sleep. I can't believe we're about to do this all over again. We have three days left here and we are partying every single one of them. Lashes are lashing. The friend group still has bucket list activities we gotta check off. I'm so excited to try on this outfit. So come back for the outfit video and wish us luck tonight because we are gonna need it. Bye! Get ready with me in Mexico. I have new products I want to try. My hair is all crazy right now from the ocean. I have a little bit of light makeup. I've been up since 5 a.m. Not really gonna do anything crazy. I just want to freshen up. It's so pretty out. We were taking photos at sunrise and it was just so beautiful. It was really cold in the morning though. Like I was shivering. I kept having to get in the water and I was like actually like I had goosebumps everywhere. The first new product is this Patrick Ta cream and powder bronzer. This lady was doing my makeup and she was using Patrick Ta stuff so I wanted to try it out. Okay, so here's the contour. When she did my makeup, I just liked the way that it looked like really natural. Do some on my nose. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the powder and put that on top of where I put the contour. And this is a cream and powder blush palette. Okay, let's try the cream on this side. I love this color. This is like the most natural, pretty blush color ever. Okay, then I'm gonna try the powder on the other side. Okay, so pretty. I'm just gonna run the powder over this to like make it look a little bit more matte, but this color is so nice. It looks like I'm not wearing makeup, but it's so pretty. This I have been so excited for. It's their brow gel. I've seen so many people on TikTok use this and I've heard that it's like the best one. I love a good brow gel, it makes such a difference. Oh my god, it really like sticks them there. Sorry to do this to you guys, but I think this is my new favorite brow gel. It's like glue. Then look at this. I figured these would be perfect for this trip because I was just going for like a natural glowy look. It says a all over glow bomb. And then I got this brush. So, oh, wait, this is so pretty for like bikini photos too. Oh. I'm gonna just do some like as some highlighter i don't know on my nose i cannot get over that it's like glistening but like no Ugh. okay then i'm gonna do some highlighter on my nose i feel like this was like the exact look i was going for like natural bronzy glowy i think i'm gonna wear this outside i want to try and get some cute photos in it let's do some benetton okay i think we're ready is in the natural light a little bit more Get ready with us to go to the clubs in Ibiza. We yeah. went out today, so I'm just touching up my makeup. The guys here are perfect. Ooh. They all have accents, and they just scream at you and tell you that they love you and that you're beautiful. And I'm like, yeah! The beach club was so much fun, but now we're going to two clubs tonight. The first thing that happened when we walked into the club is this guy was on a leash, and he handed me the leash. I don't know what's going on over here, but I love it. I'm wearing this dress. I don't know, let's wear out. I think 
We'll add some more eyeliner. I think we're ready to go out though. We're going out tonight. Okay, wish me luck. Woo! It's a Sunday, so we're going out. Not sure why, but Sunday is always like a really fun night to go out in Miami. I was not planning on going out, but my one flaw is if you propose a fun plan to me, I'm really bad at saying no. This video might also get interrupted by a plumber. We broke our toilet and I don't know, the guy's coming, but it's like 9.30 at night, so a little bit of a weird time. Kodak Black is performing tonight, so that should be fun. Okay, the plumber's here. Okay, I don't really know what to do. He's just gonna have to listen to me talk. I'm gonna try and do some eyeshadow. I never really do, but mm -mm. this is gonna be a trust the process moment. I really wanna try to be productive tomorrow, so I'm gonna try and control myself tonight. But every night I say that ends up like being the worst. The top of mine is from Addicted, and then the pants I have on are from Twin Archives. You guys need to tell me if the white eyeliner is like chuggy or what, but I feel like I can't go out without it. This Rex stuff is actually the best. I've had it since December. My friend got it for me for my birthday. Um, it's from Sephora and I still have like a bunch left in there. I found dupes of it though on Amazon linked in my bio if you guys want to look. I have a virtual appointment on Tuesday with my dermatologist back in New York. It's just like a checkup appointment and then I'm starting Accutane. I've already done Accutane before so I know what to expect and I'm actually so excited. I'm gonna make videos updating you guys throughout like the journey and any like side effects I have but last time I only had like dry lips. Also this is really random but my whole for you page at the moment is just videos of people that follow me because it'll say like follows you and you guys are really funny. Like I feel that we would all just get along very well. One thing I don't like about TikTok is that when you follow someone it gives you all their old videos for like two or three weeks and I'm like it just makes me not want to follow people. Let's go over with some more bronzer. This is the final look. Okay, this is the full outfit. These are the pants. I feel like they're really cute. This isn't a set, but I feel like it looks like one. And then I'm gonna do this bag. Bye. I'm going out, so let's do my makeup. So I take this NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Medium 6, and it just covers everything I need it to, and it smooths out my skin, but it's not cakey. So it's Cinco de Mayo, and I was trying to figure out plans, and I completely forgot that I had a reservation um, to go out. Literally five minutes ago, I was so ready to stay in and go to the gym, but now we're going out. That's the problem with being in Miami, is there's always so much going on, and there's so many people here that you literally get forced into going out all the time. Like, you can obviously say no, but I'm the type of person that if you tell me a plan and make it sound fun, I'm like, fine, let's just do it. I went to the design district with my friends today, and I made it the whole day without buying anything. And then, of course, right at the end, we passed a sneaker store, and I spent all my money. I think sneakers and shoes and bags are, like, a staple, though, so I don't really mind spending money on that because those, you know, you're going to have for a long time as opposed to like something that's just trendy and in style right now. Putting on blush is my favorite part always. I'm not really sure what I want to wear out tonight because I don't know where the night is going to take me, so I have to wear something that's going to work for a lot of places, and I don't know what that is. Also, how cute are these earrings that I got from Addicted? I love them. I also have a huge final on Monday that I should probably be studying for, but whatever. Like, I get good grades in school, but it's really hard. I've never been one of those people that, like, stresses out about their grades and the work. Like, I just, I'm like, it's school. Like, I, I don't care that much. But I probably should, but I just can't bring myself to care about it that much. I'm trying to show you, but I'm literally getting blinded by this sunset right now. There's my dirty mirror. If you're one of those girls that can do your mascara without getting it all over your eyelid, I envy you because I don't know how you do it, like what type of Picasso freak you are, but I can't do it without that. Like, look at this difference. That's crazy to me. 
You are lying if you say that this doesn't happen to you. I'm gonna try and like blend out this eyeshadow eyeliner. I'm thinking this cute little black dress would be a vibe. Okay, this dress with these shoes and then I'll do like a white bag. But I think we're ready. Party with me in Vegas. Oh fuck. Tonight we are going to the Grand Prix and then we are going out. I have to tell you guys about last night. We started off the night by going to the qualifying race and I did a hot lap. And I was so nervous going into it, but it honestly was really fun. Basically, they take you in a car around the racetrack. We went like 170 miles per hour. Going straight, I was okay with. It's when they turn, it's literally you're like on the edge, like and I'm getting in the car and the lady was like, have you ever watched Malcolm in the Middle? And she was like, okay, well, Frankie Muniz, that's your driver. And I was like, what? That's who was whipping the car around with Big Al last night. And after we left the racetrack, we went out. All is good and well, but I forgot how much walking Vegas is. And I wore like six inch platform heels last night. They were so tall. By the end of the night, we were both dying. We walked through the whole casino barefoot. <laughs> Last night, Big Al ended up in the DJ booth. Swedish House Mafia was playing and we absolutely love them. And we were dancing and then they were like, come up on here with us. So it was like the four of us. And I was having the time of my life. The tricky part about tonight is that we're going from the club straight to the plane. I'm not exaggerating. We are leaving at 4 a.m. But it's supposed to be at 2 p.m. tomorrow. And then someone said they were taking a plane back home to Miami. And they were like, you can come with us. So we were like, okay. This happened to me and Kristen at the Super Bowl too. We fully had a flight to go back home and then someone invited us on their jet and was like, come with us. And we were like, yes. Kristen and Alex trips are always the best. <laughs> They're just fun. And my outfit for tonight, I'm really excited about. Actually, I'm really excited for the shoes. So one of our friends from Miami started this vintage designer pieces brand and she finds the cutest stuff. Like I have no idea how. Look at these. I'm gonna put her handle here because she sources the cutest stuff, but I saw those and I was like, we need them for F1. Although they are blue and I'm definitely a Ferrari girl, but they were too cool not to wear. I'm gonna try and use this for eyeliner because I usually use eyeshadow, so I have to focus. Okay. Okay, we are ready to take on the night. Come back for the outfit video. Bye. Let's get dressed for the Vegas Grand Prix. Look at these boots. We're centering the outfit around these. They're vintage John Marco Lorenzi. But first, we just have this black dress. Boots have like a velcro strap around them. This is probably gonna end up in night two of me walking barefoot through the casino. Boots are from the vintage T. She has the cutest vintage designer pieces. And I think we're gonna do silver earrings. I'm sweating. Then I'm bringing a big jacket because it's a little cold out. And do we think this bag could be fun to add some more color? Should I do black? I don't know, I kinda like the silver in this bag with these shoes. I think that's kinda fun. All right, we're off to the races. Bye. Travel with me home to Jersey for Thanksgiving. I got my neon baddies, said bye to Miami, and we're off to the airport. My flight was super delayed. I always get chicken Caesar wraps at the airport. They kind of slay. Then it was a blessing because no one was in the middle seat next to me. Slept the whole time, and then we landed. This is literally when I asked my parents to pick me up from the airport. They're like, no. Back in good old Jersey, it was pouring rain. I'd been traveling for like seven hours at this point. I came home to fresh pasta. I almost started bawling my eyes out when I walked through the door. Said hi to the doggos. Of course, Masha knocked all the water over, made a mess. Look how cute Thomas is with his little reindeer slippers. The first thing Percy always does is beg me to go outside and throw a stick for him. This is basically routine for us at this point. The only thing is that it was pouring rain outside, but all good. And then Isabel took me to her spa. She loves doing my skincare for me. She's low-key like really good at it. Then I got changed into pajamas and went to bed. Bye. Get ready with me to go out for Thanksgiving Eve. So this is the most important night of the entire year. The night before Thanksgiving when everyone goes absolutely nuts. Everyone is back in their hometown for the holidays. Always crazy because you don't know who you're going to run into. All the hometown ex-boyfriends that you don't want to see. Chad, Brad. There's three potential ex-boyfriends I could see tonight. And if I see any of them, I'm <laughs> going home. Last year when I came home for Thanksgiving, things got crazy. There's just something about going out in New Jersey. Like the energy is just different. I blame it on being raised by the Jersey Shore show. Like we all are just here for a good time and like don't care. And like when I said that last year, it was really funny. Now I'm going to say it this year and everyone's going to like call me an alcoholic or something. I haven't seen my ex-boyfriend Chad since we broke up and knowing my luck because I just made a whole podcast episode shitting on him. I'm going to run into him tonight. I'm going over to my friend Sally's house. I'm packing a bag. I'm sleeping over. The good old times. We're going to wake up Thanksgiving morning be like, what happened? We're going to get bagels, coffee. My dad's going to pick me up from my friend's house. You rot all day on Thanksgiving and shove your face with mashed potatoes and stuffing. 
This also marks the one year anniversary of when I wore that tiny little top out to the bar last year in Jersey and accidentally made a meme of myself. I honestly don't know why I wore that last year now that I'm looking back at it, but of course we brought another tiny corset for tonight. Sitting at my 11 year old's makeup desk right now. Like, look at her whole getup. She has this bag, she's so cute. Isabel. Hi. <laughs> so excited to be back home after the month I've had. Like, I walked in the door yesterday and my eyes started tearing up. I wonder if we're gonna go to just one bar tonight or we're gonna hop around to a few. I'm bringing my suitcase of all my hot mess camera equipment to Sally's house because I don't know what is going to happen tonight. So when we wake up in the morning for the debrief, we need to have the cameras ready to go. I mean, I got a blowout for tonight. Things are getting serious. And my family has really fun plans tomorrow and the next day. For anyone who's not going out tonight, the new hot mess episode is coming out at midnight. And there's a little Thanksgiving gift for you guys at the end. Lashes must be lashing for tonight. This house is like madness right now. The kids are all screaming. They were blasting Taylor Swift throughout the speakers. The cat peed all over my Thanksgiving dress. You just gotta love being home. Oh my goodness, look who's here. Oh, you pretty friend? Yes, yes. You sweet little face. Look at him just put his paw on me. All right, come back for the outfit video. Bye. Get ready with me to speak on Forbes 30 under 30 panel. I am in Ohio right now for the first time ever. I didn't realize how cold it was gonna be here right now. I'm like in my room and I have like 10 layers on, I'm shivering. I always get so nervous before public speaking, even though like every time I do it, it ends up fine. Basically though, Forbes invited me to speak on their creator panel and I'm so excited. There's so many other amazing, talented people here. Kendall Jenner spoke yesterday. So we're turning on business big owl mode. I got in at like midnight last night and then I'm speaking and I'm getting right back on a flight. So I haven't really gotten to see anything. I'm in Cleveland. But I will say I got Chipotle this morning and it was really good. I weirdly like public speaking and the second I start, I'm fine. But it's just like the day leading up to it. Like I'm like, Whoa. I just like can't believe I'm here though because I'm like three months ago, I was having the same pit in my stomach about like a marketing class presentation. And now I'm having the same feeling, but I'm speaking for Forbes. I got to the airport super early yesterday. So I was like, you know, what? I'm going to sit down. I'm going to have a dinner by myself. I got a Reuben sandwich. I was doing hot mess edits. And before you know it, my flight's like, oh, it's leaving in 10 minutes. I was like, okay, I got to go. I thought I was close to the gate. I was not. The gate that I was in was the furthest gate all the way at the end of the airport. I had to take like three trains and planes to get there. I was cramping up so bad on the way there. I couldn't breathe. So I almost missed my flight, but thank God I made it. I have a really cute business girl outfit for today. Lighting is so crazy because from here my skin looks pretty good. And like if you go to the side and you just see like the texture of it, it's, it's not doing so good. So hopefully they have some amazing bright lighting up there. I decided to go with for hair. I have like a pin in the back and I figured this was just like simple and easy, classy. Come back for the outfit video. I really love the outfit. Bye. Let's get dressed to speak for Forbes. We are in Ohio, so it is a little chilly, so we're bundling up. Woo! We are going for business woman today. Business big owl. First we have this Comey de Garcon skirt. So it comes up pretty high and then the belt is like lower. Then we have this YSL jacket. Honestly, I had nothing to wear so I borrowed this from someone in Miami. So this is what it all looks like together. I, I need to take my socks off. I'm so cold! Somehow I deleted the rest of the video but I added a YSL bag and heels. Bye! Let's get ready for a Dolphins game. I need to wake up. I love that Sundays are becoming like a new party day for me. My skin and I are like still really beefing over here. It's okay though. We're just gonna erase. Goodbye. I'm wearing a hat, so I'm not gonna wear makeup on my forehead. Ow. Kristen and I are gonna be beefing today because the Dolphins are playing the Panthers and Kristen's dad is here, so we're going with him and they're Panthers fans. So I don't know. I think I'm wearing heels to the game today, so we're stepping it up a notch. When I went to the hair salon the other day, I chopped my hair off. And it's so fun because I don't have any dead ends now, so it's like thick at the bottom, which I haven't had in so long. And I have not had my hair this short since I was probably like five years old. I'm loving it though, like I feel more mature, but not in like a grandma way, in like a sexy milfy way. You know what's weird about my acne right now? Usually like when I have acne, I freak out. And for the past like year on TikTok, I've been preaching like acne is normal, like it's fine, don't let it get to you. 
And like, I really am not that upset by it. Like, obviously it's annoying and it sucks and I would rather not have it, but I'm not in the same like weird, like depressed state that I am when I usually get it. I've just like tricked myself into this mentality and obviously like I know it's gonna go away, like it comes and goes, so I don't know. Like, I feel so good and I'm so happy that that finally stuck with me. Like, I feel comfortable leaving the house without makeup on and I'm not like, oh my God, my skin. I think I should do an acne makeup tutorial again though because like I am the queen of covering it like you will never know I'm so excited for you guys to see my outfit today though it's so cute horrible scary news this morning my dad texted me about what I said at the end of the podcast last episode on hot mess where I was like dad turn off the podcast I don't know what to say to that one we're going to the game with Kristen's dad and he's literally the sweetest guy in the entire world I'm really liking this lip liner it's buxoms in the shade savvy sienna like this color is so nice and it says it's a plumping liner and then the best lip gloss ever like hello okay, i think i'm gonna add a little bit of eyeliner to you know what i'm so excited for too is halloween and that's coming up soon halloween is like by far my favorite holiday i love dressing up all right come back for the outfit video bye let's get dressed for a dolphins game we're revolving the outfit around this hat i got it on amazon i'm thinking i'm gonna put on this orange bodysuit and see what we're working with Ideally, I would like to wear this bodysuit with jeans, but I just know it's gonna be too hot for that So I'm gonna do these Levi shorts. I don't think I'm crazy, but I think I'm gonna wear these heels I just feel like it'll be a cute addition to the outfit. We can dress it up a little bit more They're comfy. I can walk in them and then I have this tiny little Jimmy Choo bag Which I think goes with the heels I feel like a mom picking up her kids from school I don't know why a mom would be dressed like this to pick her kids up from school, but that's what I'm gonna be dressed like. I have these silver bangles. I'm gonna see if these look good just to like accessorize. Or should I just do one? I think I'm just gonna do one. The two was getting a little clanky. What do we think? Woo! You're doing great, sweetie! Bye! Let's get ready for a lunch with Fendi. I honestly have no idea what to expect from this lunch or who is gonna be there. But it is cold in Miami today. It's 60 degrees. For Miami, that is like the winter solstice. I was bundling up to go get my coffee this morning. So I decided that I could straighten my hair today without it frizzing up everywhere. Because usually it's so humid that like it will literally just turn to a mess if I try and straighten it. So I think we're gonna try this today. I was just watching the edit right now of this week's episode of Hot Mess. And it's so funny. Like this is just a fun, lighthearted episode. I think you guys are really gonna like it. I was at dinner the other night and I randomly came up with the best Halloween costume. So if we're gonna be able to pull it off, I'm trying to see what I can find, but if I do, I think it's gonna be really cool. And I am spending Halloween in New York this year because usually we go to Key West and I don't really know, like I just feel like New York feels more Halloween than Miami. I was thinking of making a video of rating all my old Halloween costumes because I think I've had some good ones. But like college Halloween is different than like, I feel like big Halloween party Halloween. Before I would just wear underwear and a bra and call it a day and now I'm like getting together like sick outfits. I'm still not used to this hair yet. Like every time I walk past the mirror, I'm like, <gasps> I'm gonna make an outfit video getting ready because I'm obsessed with this outfit. It's a whole Fendi look. I have to leave in 10 minutes though, so I gotta get moving. I'm in the works of getting a vanity right now because I haven't had one and like standing up doing my makeup feels so weird. The other vanity mirror accidentally got smashed, so we're ordering a new one. Let's do lots of freckles because it is a daytime look. Come back for the outfit video. Bye! Let's get dressed for a lunch with Fendi. They sent me an outfit to wear. First is this long dress. It's so cute. I love the color. And they also sent me one of their peekaboo bags to wear, which this is so cool. It's like soft. It feels like a pillow. And then they sent me these heels to wear. Honestly, it is freezing out in Miami today. Well, it's 60 degrees, but like for Miami, that's cold. I'm honestly happy I have like a long sleeve outfit. Now time to accessorize. I'm feeling bougie today. Oh! I like these. And then they sent me this watch, which is super cool. I don't know if this is too much with the long sleeve. I literally have no idea what to expect from this lunch. Who's gonna be there? Look at these earrings. How do they? Oh, these are so much fun. Okay, I just figured out how to put it in. So you break apart the little Fs. Well, don't break it. <laughs> oh, she's a Fendi girly today. She's going somewhere important. Bam. I don't even recognize myself. Off to pick my kids up at school. <laughs> Wish me luck, let's hope I don't embarrass myself. Bye.
Get ready with me to take a new license photo. It is 7 a.m. right now. This is probably the most crucial moment of my life because every single time I go to a bar, I get denied or almost get denied because of my current ID photo. This is from when I'm 17, but why? Like, wh who is that? I'm pretty sure I angled my face weird in this because my jaw is like... And it's so embarrassing. Every time I go out, I have to show like three forms of ID. So if there's one thing I do today, it will be getting a good license photo. And this is not my first time trying. Every time I go to the DMV, there's an issue. I leave crying. When I turned 21, I tried to go. I went three times in a week and I got denied every single time. I have triple checked all my paperwork, everything I need to bring today. I don't know how it's called like the passport makeup or something, but we're going to try it and accomplish. I'm also becoming a Florida resident now. Goodbye, Jersey. Why am I so nervous right now? I feel like I'm getting ready for like the fucking Met Gala. I also get very nervous with the facial posing because last time mine, like everyone always says like, why do you look so angry? But like, are you're not supposed to smile. Maybe I'll try and smile. Let's open up these eyes, make it look like I am awake. We have to make sure the lashes are lashing hard today. All right, I'm making a disaster over here because I'm trying really hard and we're going double cover on the pimps. I feel like we need to load up on the freckles. Oh no, oh no. Huh. I think the teensiest bit of a little liner out here. To do full va va voom for the lips. I don't think you guys understand the fear and resentment I have towards this license photo. Like, I would go on trips with guys and they'd be like, oh, send me a photo of your ID. And I was like, <gasps> I literally would have to send it to them and be like, I'm so sorry. And don't even get me started on my passport photo. I think that one's even worse. I, I like, have to go. Wish me luck. I'm going to make a before and after video of, like, my license photos. I need to practice. Bye. I'm finding my sister a boyfriend. If you watched the Paris episode of Hot Mess, she's talking about the guys abroad and that she's literally only finding like old men there. <laughs> I got asked out on like three dates my first week being there by creepy old men. So like it doesn't really- killing it. It doesn't really count though when they're creepy old men. But she's also abroad right now, so she's in Florence. So I was like, I need an app that's gonna work over there. And I thought Bumble was good because the women make the choice and Ashton should be in control. Also, Bumble Premium has a travel mode so she can use it while she's traveling and bopping around. Let's pick some good pictures of Ashton that we think would be good for this. Okay, starting off strong, I was like, this is just a beautiful picture. Look, she likes to be wine and dine, but she has no partner. Oh, she's a travel girl. She's on the beach. She's going out. Oh, she's so happy and cute at the festivals. Bikini sleigh. So I made her a premium account, which basically has like travel mode and it has all these other features on it. Then I did the prompts for her. I said that her superpower was that she can take a nap anywhere at any time because this is true. I said that her zombie apocalypse plan would be to hide and have someone take care of her because she's a princess. <laughs> Ashton! I'm setting you up on dates. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna be your dating manager. Please don't. <laughs> Get ready with me to go to Three Points. Raver Girl Alex is back in action. Three Points is an EDM music festival in Miami. And I've never been before. I've only been to Ultra and I have like the time of my life. I'm going incognito tonight. You guys have no idea what my outfit is. I'm with all my girlfriends and we have a pretty big group. The type of music, just like it gets me so excited and happy. Up until like 20 minutes ago, I was not gonna go because for some reason I was having like the biggest panic attack today. My anxiety was through the roof and I was like, okay, like being in a big crowd like probably isn't the best idea for me right now. But I just ate some Chipotle, I'm feeling good, and now we're ready. I was literally sitting in the shower, like with hot water pouring on me, just in a bowl, like <laughs> I had to put my hair in buns because like at these things I'm swinging my head around so much, it just feels more secure. Like so curious what the setup's gonna be, there's like seven different stages. A little late though due to my anxiety, so we can speed it up. I'm going to be like fully naked, but my whole face is basically going to be covered. Because <laughs> we're like, Alex, we're putting you in a disguise and we're just going for it. Literally have to go in five minutes. The other thing is that we're getting there at like 1030, but we're staying until 4 a.m. So your girl has got to find her power and buckle up. Me and Fred again tonight. I'm so excited. We're and I used to have like rave themed parties in high school because we were so obsessed. Let's shimmer this up. Also, this outfit is going to take me like four hours to put on because it's like all string. And it's in a big knot right now. If you see me tonight, no you didn't. Stay tuned for the outfit video. Bye. Get ready with me for an event in Miami. I was up until 5 a.m. last night. And one thing about me is I will be doing it all. Because it is 11 a.m. right now and I'm getting ready to go sit outside in the sun and socialize. Not only was I up until 5 a.m., but we were at a rave. I like literally can't feel my legs right now because we were dancing and standing for six hours. 
My friends and I had so much fun. We were in the middle of the crowd. We were dancing, sweating. And then somehow I got connected with someone who was working for three points. So we went from GA to being backstage. What I'm going to right now is like a fashion show. So I'm gonna like have to be put together. <laughs> My friends are all dying in bed right now. And they're like, Alex, how are you up? <laughs> I also think it's so funny because my whole For You page is people like telling me what surgery I got done on my face. Or everyone's accusing me of lying because I showed a photo of my license when I was 17. <laughs> and I said in the video, I was like, I got my lips done, I aged, like I think your face like loses chubbiness as you age a little bit. And then people keep going back on my old videos being like, she got Botox, she's lying. Like, how could I be lying if I've posted that I got Botox? I just didn't think that like getting Botox in my forehead changed the shape of my face. I also learned how to do my makeup significantly better I got some surgery or something on my face I would tell you guys but it's like no wonder people with like an online presence don't want to like say that publicly because people are so brutal and regardless of getting any work done I doubt you look the same as you did when you were 17 years old I really hope that I make it through today I tried a new foundation that all my friends have been using so I'm gonna see how it wears and I'm gonna let you guys know because every time I see all my friends I'm like why is your skin glowing into next year oh no the difference that mascara makes is actually crazy. Let's put on the outfit. This is the brand of the show. It's Rangel. Super cute set. We are ready to go. Bye. Get dressed for date night. Don't know what to wear. I was at a photo shoot from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. So here is my makeup from 6.30 this morning. This is not too bad. Okay, when in doubt, we're gonna just try on this little black dress. Okay, well, never mind because I can't go with my butt cheek out to a nice restaurant. I'm not going. Third black dress. This one, which is like still long, <laughs> very long and modest. <laughs> you know, it's still like cute, a little rose. Hopefully I get some flowers tonight. I have these vintage Dior heels. I'm gonna try them on with this. Do these look cute? I feel like I'm going salsa dancing. Here's both the shoes on. This bag's black and silver, so I feel like this goes. So with a little silver buckle. <laughs> and then I feel like just to cover up a little bit more, I'm gonna put this blazer over it. And then I think just because my hair is getting a little crazy, I'm gonna do a low bun. Here is the final date night outfit. Bye. Get dressed with me to transform into Madonna. Okay, so this is the look that we're going for. The look from her tour in the 90s. She has like a Jean Paul Gaultier bodysuit, but it's in a museum. So we had this one custom made. Let's try it on. First, we're gonna do these black tights. You got to express yourself, baby. I have no idea how I'm gonna pee in this tonight. This is gonna be a little bit of a problem. We're doing these heels. Ooh, ooh. When you call my name, <laughs> it's like a little. Oh, I wish I could sing. Okay, this just took like 30 minutes to put on with the help of many people. But here it is. We have the comb bra. We got the pointy nips. So the back is all laced up. I just like, I, I can't pee. I can't. Yeah, why it? <laughs> and then this is like a little like spectacle that she uses. Oh, and I um, learned her dances. So we're going to do some. Come on, blow. Dance to the music. I'm not as ripped as Madonna, but ripped try. I honestly don't know how they made this, but it is actually so perfect. And now we are going to get absolutely feral tonight. Happy Halloween. Bye. Party with me for Heidi Klum's Halloween party. I just put these contacts in, I can't really see. So Heidi Klum is the queen of Halloween, so of course we're going all out tonight. I don't think anyone would expect this costume from me. I'm not being Voldemort, I know I look like Voldemort right now, but wait a minute. So I'm being Jadis, the White Witch from Narnia. So this is her. So I was looking up characters from Narnia and I saw the White Witch and I was like, that is such an insane look. I was supposed to be something else and then I was like, we're doing that for Halloween. We're skipping out on like the sexy part of Halloween tonight. <laughs> We are lightening the brows. It's gonna look like I've been outside in the cold freezing. We're doing white eyelashes because I have snow frozen over. Hi! And then for my hair, we're gonna just do like a big rat's nest. I'm like so curious what Heidi is gonna be. Like, I need to know. I'm so excited. This is like what my hair looks like when I wake up. <laughs> I'm sad. 
We also got icicles for my head. We're currently uh, drilling holes through them. <laughs> They're made out of like glue, I think, so I don't know. We're trying to get these icicles on my head. This is quite the process, but we're, I think we're gonna do it. There is gonna be no dancing for me tonight. <laughs> Somehow this is staying up. Okay, oh. here she is, Jadis the White Witch. Okay, now for the even crazier part, the outfit. Come back for the outfit video. Bye. Let's get ready to go on the Kelly Clarkson show. Sometimes I really just like don't understand how life is happening. This is like my first talk show with like an audience. I think my biggest fear is saying something that's like a joke and like no one laughs. <laughs> also nervous for like walking up. Like what if I fall when I'm walking up? Just decided to do my makeup for this instead of getting it done. And I did this for a photo shoot the other day too. And I feel like this is like very like frowned upon. Or maybe that's the wrong word, but like shocking. Cause I feel like in this like industry, everyone's getting their makeup done for everything. But I'm like, I just kind of like the way I do it better. See, when my skin is breaking out, I feel like I like have it down to a science on like how to cover it. And when I get my makeup done and my skin's really bad, I feel like they like cake a lot of shit on just cause they're trying to cover it. My mom is also driving in from New Jersey today to come to this. She's like, I can't believe this. And it's so crazy because like, I can't believe it either. Like sometimes things happen and me and my family are like, what? Like me? It's just like so cool because last Halloween weekend, I was like in college and that was the first time anyone had ever come up to me and asked me for a photo. And I was in like pure shock. And so were my friends, they were like a photo with Alex. And a year later, I'm going on the Kelly Clarkson show. Like what is happening? What is happening? Kelly Clarkson seems really sweet though and I've been watching some of the other interviews and I'm like, okay, this should be fun. Nothing to worry about. I'm working on trying to like bring more of my personality when I do these interviews because a lot of the times I feel like I get really scared so I just like try to say like the right things. But then I always watch them back and I'm like, this is so boring and like not, not that it's not me, like I mean what I'm saying but I'm just not like delivering it like how I am. And a lot of that has to do with nerves because I'll go into everything so nervous when I'm speaking. So now I'm just going to try and have fun with it and not think about it too much. And then I'm going straight from the Kelly Clarkson show to a photo shoot for a magazine. And I woke up this morning feeling like I'm gonna get sick. So I'm like, mm, I should probably take care of this before madness. Come back for the outfit video. Bye. Get ready with me to go to the box in London. If you don't know what the box is, I'm about to tell you. So I've been to the one in New York City before. And while you're at the club, there's like sex shows going on. It's like performances, like you sit down and watch. But the shows only come on every like 40 minutes. So you're like clubbing, dancing at the table, and then everyone like sits down. For example, the last time I went, there was guys squirting shampoo out of their bum hole. This so one guy is just completely naked, like... <laughs> it's like different acts, like they're popping things out of their bahuni. I honestly don't even know how it's like legal, what goes on in there. It's like very disturbing and disgusting. But for some reason, like I had the best time ever. And apparently the one in London is even crazier than New York. So I was like, we just need to go. We just need to see. Just know that my friends are going to actually like freak out. The shows get crazier as the night goes on. Like by the time you hit like four in the morning, you're like, what is going on right now? We're going to dinner first and then we're going to the club. I think Madeline might come meet us, which I'm so excited. I was telling my friends about last time I went, like stories from the night. And they're like, Alex, that's disgusting. How is that enjoyable? It just feels like fake life. Like it's just, it's not real. <laughs> Anyone who's been to the box before, you just, you know what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, another thing they did last time I was there was they put vodka, one of the performers, in their mouth. They swished it around real good and then they came over to someone at our table and they poured it in her mouth from this guy's mouth. That is not safe, that's not sanitary. We were all like literally throwing up looking at this. So I'm so excited to go back. <laughs> so glad you guys are liking this new episode of Hot Mess because it's really crazy and I was like really getting into like way too many details. Probably shouldn't have told you guys some of that stuff. Because I like how now we're all like in on the same like inside jokes. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to tomorrow's debrief with you guys about what's going on tonight. We're going to the theater. We're going to see a show with loads of naked people with their bum holes out. Okay, well, wish us luck tonight. Bye. Ready with us in London. Woo! So we are on a girls trip right now. Ashton's been studying abroad in Florence, so I was like, you know what, we're gonna go to London so that we can meet her and she can come with us. Everyone wants to know how tall you are, Ashton, um, and why you're 10 feet taller than I am. I am five foot nine, and it is because I feel I like you're better. like five foot 10. <laughs> I haven't measured myself in a while. We are getting ready for dinner and then we're gonna go out after. I have never been to London before, so I am just like floored at the driving on the opposite side of the car. Also confusing when you're crossing the street like Sarah <laughs> almost got run over by one of the big red buses. 
Maybe I should do the rest of this in an accent. <laughs> Is that, I think that's like an Irish Australian accent. I've been like so nervous all day about the episode of Hot Mess that came out this morning. Because like I just share things on there. Like I feel like it's just me. I'm comfortable. I'm like I'm just talking to the girls. And then like an NFL man texted me something that I put in the episode. I was like, oh my god. Like I didn't realize he listens to it. My dad listens to it. I was like, oh no. I was like, I just trust the girlies. You know, they're gonna keep my secrets, even though it's out on this big platform. Like, it's it's our little secret. But it's okay now because we're with the girls and we're going out. I'm actually like hallucinating. I'm so tired. Like, I feel like I am not like on this actual earth. Ball sent us on this trip, and I was able to bring my friends, which is just like the best thing about what I do because there's just no one else I'd rather be with in the entire world than my friends. So oh, I'm so happy that I get to like bring them with me everywhere and like share experiences with them. Sarah's here. Texting with Sarah's mom because this is our first year in like four years not living together. She just I moved know. to New York. So like we've been roommates for four years and now we don't live together. She'll stay with me in New York. Yeah. No hotels. Your apartment's gonna be cleaner without me. <laughs> Stealing this lip liner from Ashton. She always has like the best ones. Oh, this is dog. Yeah. I feel like tonight we're gonna have a lot of fun, but tomorrow night we have some crazy plans. Okay, come back for the outfit video. Bye. Ready with me for the day in London. I have a bone to pick with London. Uh, we went to the box last night and it was closed by like 3.30. We also saw grandma pour tomato soup out of her bahuni. <laughs> but I was like, okay, we'll just like go to the next club. And they were like, no, honey, like this is it. Like everything in London's closed. I was just waking up. Also, the time difference isn't helping me, but I was like, I'm ready to go. Stayed at the box after it was over. The lights were on in the club and we were just like hanging out with the workers. <laughs> I told you guys that's like the crazy club where they do like naked people shows. I actually don't know how I'm like up right now. I've been to the one in both London and New York and I have to say I think the New York one was like a lot crazier. Last night in the club Sarah's heel <laughs> broke off her boot so she's walking around like this. <laughs> and I was trying to put my card down for the table last night and it kept declining. So I gave them two of my other cards and they all kept declining. <laughs> I tried them like 45 times and I think that it was maybe an issue because I'm like in a different country. And my accountant texted me this morning and he was like why do I have like 45 attempted charges at this club in London at like four in the morning. Like a girl was just trying to have fun, I don't know. All of us would really love to stay in bed, but it's our last day in London, so we're going to see Big Ben. I also want to see the palace, and then we're gonna go to tea time. I need actual help on how to wear this headband because I want to wear it. I think it'll be cute, I just don't know how to do it. Like maybe are these supposed to be back? I need to do like an updated makeup tutorial because I have this hack now for making your skin like look really good. I figured it out recently and I've been testing it out and it's so good. But like, I need people to comment and tell me how to wear this headband. Ow! And then the best part about this is I'm leaving at 3 a.m. to go to the airport for a 6 a.m. flight to go to Germany. Because you know we're gonna see NFL man in Germany. <laughs> There's only like two hours left of sunlight right now so we need to go do our daytime activities. Wish me luck with getting to Germany. Bye! Get ready with me for the Dolphins game in Germany. Never been to Germany before. And I got up at 3.30 in London to travel here today. The Dolphins are playing the Chiefs today, so this should be like a really good game. It's so hot in this room. We like opened all the doors and there's like a tornado going on in here right now. But I'm excited to be here. I want to get a schnitzel tonight. This is fun too because usually the Dolphins games are like 85 million degrees and today it's going to be so cold so I'm excited to dress for this. I don't know why this feels like a simulation right now. I'm like we did not just like fly to Germany for 24 hours for a football game. <laughs> but I literally couldn't be happier about it. I'm really curious too like what the vibe of the game is going to be. Like is it just going to be a lot of football fans or is it going to be more just people that live here that want to go? And we're rolling on like three hours of sleep right now so this should be very interesting. We're going to be getting to the game a little early. We're going to go down on the field. I haven't seen NFL man in like two weeks so it'll be nice to see him and then this next week is their off week and we're going on vacation but he has no idea where yet. You guys to give us recommendations for dinner tonight in Frankfurt. We say this now and then I'm like are we gonna actually make it to dinner? <laughs> Probably <laughs> not but like we should try. I want to try and wear this headband because I feel like it'll just make my outfit more cute but we're gonna have to like figure it out because I feel like <laughs> sheer. <laughs> The gal is gonna have to keep her dancing to a minimum, which I don't know if that's gonna happen. Eyes were like so red and bloodshot because I'm sleep deprived. And I bought these eye drops and so put them in and I'm like, wow, like my the plane right home is 10 hours though, so I will be probably passing out for the whole flight. Alright, we are just about ready for the outfit. So come back for the outfit video. Bye! 
Get ready with me to go be a guest on Alex Cooper's Unwell Tour. We are in Chicago. From what I've seen of this show so far, it looks like madness. Alex has been doing these tours in different cities and it's like a fun show. It looks like there's like dances, there's guests. I'm so excited I get to be a part of this. The only time I've ever been to Chicago was when I was actually with Chad, eating Chad, and we went to this formal here and I had like the best night of my life. I was in high school, but I just remember the clubs being like absolutely insane. There is an after party after the show. And of course, Big Al has a flight to go back to Miami in the morning. Who doesn't love a good airport hangover? Basically, Alex started the Unwell Network, which is what my podcast hot mess is through. She is the podcasting queen, so it's so cool that I get to like do this with her and like watch her and learn from her. They were asking me if I needed like headphones for tonight because apparently the audience is so loud. I don't really know what the vibe was to wear, so I think I'm just gonna wear like a little black dress with boots and a jacket. Also, everyone pretty much knows this by now, but I was like an OG Call Her Daddy fan. Literally, <laughs> it was my life. So like for me, I'm also excited to be going and watching this show. I'm like freaking out. Something about just doing your makeup after like a fresh vacation tan, it always goes on better. I'm gonna make sure the people in the back of the theater can see these eyelashes. <laughs> and this week I'm back in Miami for four days. Four days without going to an airport. I'm going to enjoy every second of it. But it's so crazy because I'm obviously traveling and bopping around a lot. And like I always said growing up, is like I just want a job that allows me to travel. Like I love traveling. I don't mind it at all. And I really like traveling alone. Like that's my preferred travel method, alone. And if Big Al a year ago knew that I was doing this today, she would literally like be deceased. I'm really hoping that some of you girlies will be there tonight in Chicago so I can see you. I'm trying to add some brown liner. Okay, so here's the outfit, just black, simple. Wish me luck tonight. Bye. Get ready with us the last night in the Bahamas. NFL man planned a dinner for us and I have no idea what we're doing. Today we took a boat to this little private island. It was literally like so small we could just walk across the whole thing. And we brought a picnic basket there and we spent the day there. This is what it looked like. It was actually insane. There was hermit crabs everywhere. Like I picked up my beach bag when we were leaving and they were inside all over it. And then afterwards we went to get massages and we went to this overwater spa. I've never experienced something like this in my life. And the floor had like clear glass so you could like look down at the ocean. We have like half the day here tomorrow and then we're back to Miami. We're also recording for Hot Mess right now. An NFL man wants to answer questions about me, but like questions from you guys. So write in the questions things you want to know about me, I guess, and he's going to answer. He's taking over. What would Alex do? Like a lie. No, just like a dot. Just one dot. Okay. This stuff goes a lot. I'm going to do extra blushing. You have to blend it. I really need to do an updated makeup routine soon because I changed so many things. So remind me to do that. Bye. Let's get ready in night one in Vegas. The vibes are 10 out of 10. We love it. I have an absolute monster pimple over here. I went down to the lobby before for like an hour and we had so much fun. We were literally just walking around. Energy here, everyone is like out of their mind and just having the best time. And you don't even have to leave the hotel to have a good time. There's like restaurants down there, casinos, like shopping. F1 is here this weekend and we are going to the racetrack after this. And supposedly I'm going to be doing a hot lap, like getting in the car and going around the track. And like, I don't know, only say I don't know because that seems kind of scary, but also seems just like the biggest adrenaline rush ever. And after that, we are going to the clubs. We're gonna go see Swedish House Mafia. It feels like Disneyland for adults here. We go to the casino and gamble. I wanna play blackjack. Actually pretty good, but I've only other played when it's other people's money. <laughs> the only time I've been to Vegas before was last year for my senior fall break. I only didn't do it as bougie, but the clubs here are just insane. The bottle service came from a spinning woman from the ceiling. She was like floating down on top of their heads. It was insane. A year ago today and it's crazy because i hit a hundred thousand followers on instagram and we threw like a party we didn't even have a million on tiktok yet so it, it is just crazy the year it's been i just want you to know i love you guys the girlies were showing up in the lobby before you guys are so much fun i was down there this girl was like throwing her money away on the table i was like you got it girl go my nails done the color of hot mess and i am loving them i've never done dark nails i feel like this is a great stop before going home for a week for the holiday come back for the outfit video bye